Many devices in GimKit Creative allow you to control the scope of their behavior, which means that when the device does something, we can decide who it applies to in the game, whether it's everyone in the game, a specific team in the game, or a specific player in the game. For this barrier, I can control the active scope, which means that when the barrier is activated or deactivated, I can decide who that applies to, whether it's deactivated for everyone in the game, deactivated for just one team, or just one player. Right now I have this barrier set up to deactivate by team. This counter, I can control the count scope. So when the count is updated, whether it goes up or down, um, it'll apply to everyone in the game, just one player, or just one team. I have this one set up to global, which means everyone in the game, uh, it applies the count. So if I were to run this little setup, you'll see that I hit this button to deactivate the barrier. I actually have a zone underneath it. So when I go in this zone, I'm awarded a blue key, which um, sends a signal on a channel that I have set up to be received on this counter. So I got my blue key and my counter went up by one. I can do that again, go out of the zone and back into the zone. Counter keeps going up. Now if I go in as a same teammate, you'll see that that barrier is gone. The barrier is gone, I can go right in, get the zone, um, get my blue key and the counter goes up. If I go in as a different team, because that barrier only deactivated for the team that deactivated it, I cannot get into it yet. I still have to go and push the button to deactivate it for my team. Now I can go in, but because I have the counter set up to be a global scope, that number continues to go up as if we're on the same team or we're all working towards the same goal. So being able to control the scope of your devices gives you lots of interesting game mechanic possibilities as a game designer and um, lets you create really fun cooperative or competitive dynamics in your game.